All right. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's K Rod here, back again with another good boxing uh, analyze uh, post reaction video or or boxing analysis post reaction video. Um, we're gonna be talking about this crazy guy by the name of Anthony Joshua that took a very weird uh, fight in Kubrat Pulev, which this fight was not interesting. Joshua, uh, I love you, man, but sometimes the things you do make me question what you are doing in life. But let's talk about this fight. This is a very, very anticipated fight. Not only because Joshua literally annihilated Pulev in nine rounds, but Joshua never really went the distance to the point of making it easier on himself for Pulev. Um, Joshua did what he had to do with throwing his jab, but when Pulev was throwing right hooks and getting Joshua tired, um, Joshua was kind of like getting gassed out throughout the fight, and, uh, Pulev, you know, wasn't thinking, he obviously just kept getting hit in the face, and he wasn't really making intelligent decisions, and he literally just got annihilated in the sense of he wasn't even thinking about what he should do to make adjustments towards AJ, and, uh, yeah, he literally just got, you know, taken down um this is a fight that i really saw coming anyway because he is really not the type of fighter to go up against a little bit more athletic version of joshua and joshua literally just you know beat the living you know breaks out of pulev when he started to get a little second wind and give pulev a fight of his life but um I think either way, when we take a look at these fighters, um, is Joshua really that type of guy to beat Walder, or even like, or even <laughs> surprisingly Fury? Um, I would say no, not just because Fury would somehow just knock out Joshua. Fury would just easily just outbox him if you wanted to, because he moves like a crackhead in the ring, but. If you were to give me a Russian roulette game between Walder Fury and Joshua, um, I'd say Walder would win out of these three because Walder has punching power. He doesn't really need to facilitate on on a certain style. He can literally just bring it to to his right hand, and then if that really doesn't work, then he could just establish his jabs until that right hand does land, and then he can also facilitate on using his length and using his movement as a means of getting getting his opponents tired for a good one shot wonder power punch with the right hand or or even his left hook to to even break people down and start going for knockouts but that's why walder he's a beast because nobody don't want to be talking about him knowing that people know fury is a cheater he didn't do anything but cheat to beat a guy like Walder, because Fury knows from the first fight, which he said it after he went into a draw with Walder, I damn near died in that fight. So it pretty much proves that Tyson Fury is not a winner, he's a loser. And Walder, he would have damn near won that fight by KO in the uh, 11th round, I believe. Or, I think it was the 11th or 12th round, I think it was the 11th but i'm gonna take a look at that after this video but either way walter you know was gonna win that fight anyway by ko but the referee cheated and gave in a give a extra second to the 10 count to fury to give him extra time to get back up where he counted slower instead of counting you know the you know the standard time is like a I think like a half a second interval like you're supposed to do one two three four five six seven like like dude for real you know the the like these referees don't think and they obviously don't have a brain you know when it comes to refereeing but um 
yeah, uh, Joshua said after the fight, he he's looking forward to fighting Fury for the undisputed status. And Fury actually came out like I think let the let the same let the same moment when Joshua won against Pulev, and then Fury said, you know, I will go after you, Joshua. You're a big dosser or whatever, like you know, like whatever that BS that British people, you know, say over there, but. Either way, it's just like Fury. <laughs> Fury had like really no interest of bringing up Walder, and it's just really weird of how this fight played out with Joshua when Joshua should have been fought Andy Ruiz or even Michael Hunter, because either way, my boy Michael, he deserves to fight AJ. Michael would have given AJ a much better fight. Or even better yet, fight Tony Oka or fight Luis Ortiz. Why didn't you choose Ortiz where you said that you were going to give him a promise to fight him after he gets done with you-know-who? Um, hold on. Uh, after he handles with Pavetkin. Or, yeah, 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 because AJ said, don't don't worry, let me handle Pavetkin. And then after I, I, I handle Pavetkin, then I will... Um, go after Luis Ortiz, and he never went after Luis Ortiz, because that's, that's what happened when it, you know, came to, uh, <laughs> uh, Andy Ruiz, as he was, like, a last-minute opponent, because Joshua was supposed to fight, uh, he was supposed to fight, uh, Gerald Miller, and, um, you know, knowing enough, like, he, he basically lied to Luis Ortiz, saying that he was gonna fight him after Pavetkin. And then he never even came to fruition with them. And Eddie Hearn had to offer Luis, or- yeah, like offer Luis Ortiz to get, I think, kicked off of DAZN or something. Like I'm not too sure to not fight Joshua. But either way, it's like Joshua basically ducked Luis Ortiz, <laughs> and he's an absolute, you know, retard for that. But now nah, this fight was really boring. This fight never really caught my attention. Uh, it would be very sad if Joshua were to fight Usyk or, let's just say, like, just a crappy fighter, like, Oscar Rivas, no, no, Oscar Rivas, he could fight, I, like, people, people be doubting him, but, no, he, he can fight, he, he's a very good fighter, um, I mean, honestly, there's really nobody I can really say that really gets up to that level. I mean, even if FA Ajaba comes up into the talks, you know, that, that that's not going to happen until Walder beats the living crap out of Fury, and Joshua has his, has his fight with Walder. I would actually like to see that. That's going to be a damn big fight if that comes into the works, because, you know, Joshua's always pulling off that narrative that, he, that him and Fury, him and Fury are, are going to fight, but Joshua knows preferably, preferably in his mind that Walder would be a more interesting fight because he wants to fight Walder. But knowing enough that you could have fought Walder, you know, when you offered him that $12 million where Walder said, hey, I'll take the fucking 12, 12, 12 flat, yeah, but the flat $12 million offer. And then Eddie Hearn, you know, pulls out pulls yeah pulls Joshua out of this fight you know at the last minute and then Joshua ends up fighting um I think Pavetkin or Parker I'm not too sure but but either way he he was supposed to fight Walder in that following 2017 to 18 timeline and AJ made himself look like a joke by avoiding Walder and he knows it because he would have been fought Walder in let's just say 2017 after the Klitschko fight because he wouldn't have been a world champion if it wasn't for uh Charles Martin winning the title leading into the Dominic Brazil Eric Marlina and the Klitschko you know um 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 unification bout which was the day before my birthday which that was awesome but either way it's just like Joshua you know are we like are we going to take him seriously there's really nothing you can take him seriously for. He doesn't have anything that people want to see out of him. And I think, honestly, um, if it were me to choose the right opponent that Joshua should be fighting right now, it should have been Andy Ruiz Jr. for the trilogy 
or Michael Hunter. You want to know why? Because these two guys would give you a damn fight. Not no Dillian White, not, not no Derek Chisora, not no crappy-ass Kubrat Pulev shit. You know, sorry to be disrespectful, but I'm just, like, you know, I'm just keeping it real, man. I'm just keeping it like a buck. And uh, I just think, like, if Joshua held his word to fight Luis Ortiz, or if he were to be a man enough to, you know, give give Andy Ruiz a trilogy because Andy Ruiz took took those belts away from you so if you beat him in the second fight you should basically give him a trilogy because that's how fights like this are you know if you beat the champ and the and the champ comes back or the ex-champion comes back and beats you then there should be a trilogy to basically end the story but no obviously joshua does not want to go that route of getting his ass whooped by andy ruiz because Andy Ruiz, as much as I did not like what he did in the rematch against Joshua, I'm pretty sure this yeah, this time come around, he will be way more smarter in fighting Joshua in a more, you know, mentally and physically better shape condition. Where I think honestly, if if Ruiz could cut off at least a good amount of weight, I'd say maybe sixty pounds at the most, Ruiz would Beat the living crap out of Joshua. I'm just keeping that a buck fifty. Literally, Ruiz. As much as I <laughs> love how he fights, and he and he has like those little T-Rex, you know, looking arms. Ruiz would literally annihilate Joshua, and we all know that from the first fight because Ruiz came in at two sixty eight. Two sixty eight. That is at least. Um, 268, 278, 279, 280, 281, 282, 283. That is about 15 and a half pounds heavier from what he was from the first fight. And then somehow when Joshua cut down on that weight and J- and Andy moved up higher in weight, Andy literally just got outboxed the whole fight. No. Andy, if I were you, you need to drop that weight again, get big, well, keep away from the weights, get your conditioning up, you're, you're obviously a lot better when you get that conditioning up, and then work on your technique and your style, get, get that stuff up too, and I, and I swear, I swear to the boxing gods as if it were Mortal Kombat on, on my life. That Andy Ruiz would destroy Joshua in that trilogy. If you disagree with me, put it down in the comments and say what you got to say. But Joshua last night looked bad. He got gassed out by Pulev. He did not close uh, the show sooner than later. As it should have been just literally round three where Pulev got extremely hurt by Joshua's left and right hooks and... Joshua, he obviously got gassed because <laughs> he used too much of that, um, you know, that power that he falls in love with. And he doesn't use any of his technique and style until, you know, it's basically crunch time into the middle and later rounds. But either way, it's just like Joshua, he really needs to think twice about what he's going to do in his uh, next fights coming in the future. Because um, either way, Tyson Fury... He's not going to knock out Joshua, but he can easily outbox Joshua if he so choose chooses to do so. But, I mean, if he obviously cheats, then he's going to try KOing Joshua. But I don't think that's going to happen, knowing that Joshua, he's pretty much the mastermind behind all this scandal. But if they were to fight in a clean fight, yeah, I, I would pick Fury over Joshua. But if Joshua were to KO Fury in a flash knockdown, that would be crazy as well. And that would be a big debt like you know debt to gamble on where joshua he he needs to box perfect and get give fury you know the the fight of his life but as far as walder goes um if walder beats living crap out of fury then he's next in line to fight joshua because that's where walder's gonna say hey if you want to um become undisputed you got to come see me and i think that's really where it's gonna go because deontay walder 
he's gonna ha yeah he's gonna have to get this uh, trilogy uh, done and over with and uh, once he destroys and annihilates Fury um, this is going to be the biggest win on Walder's resume and uh, yeah it's gonna be some big bombs coming his way as Bomb Squad will secure the victory and uh, I think that's where this idiot Fury will be out of the picture. But I think either way, if Fury is going to avoid Walder in the trilogy, uh, prosecute him, get him locked up, and then just go straight, yeah, go straight for Joshua. And I think that's really where, like, where you know it's going to go because Fury and his team are not going to avoid this trilogy when clearly Walder had put in a rematch clause in the contract. So you know you just can't opt out of a contract knowing that you did agree to fight him. So be a man and actually fight him or else just go to jail and lose all the money that you have and give up the title to Walder. So either way, I think Walder is in a good position. But AJ, he's in, he's in a bad position because he made himself look easier than expected with Pulev of what uh, weaknesses that he has in his craft that would definitely get him way more exposed than for what you have seen last night. But it was a decent fight. Um, well, I wouldn't say decent, but it was more like a shutout in the late ninth round. Joshua got the KO. KO. Um, yeah, and uh, it was it was a good win for Joshua. So hopefully um, Joshua can fight... Um, I don't even know, honestly. Honestly, if if Joshua could just be a man for once and just just give Walder the give Walder a shot, and then and then after that, and when Walder beats the crap out of you, then he fights Fury, and then Walder holds up the IBF and beats Fury. Well, Walder holds all the belts that Joshua has, and then beats Fury, and, and then he becomes undisputed. That would yeah that would, uh, that would, uh, that would be awesome. So, um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much what I have to say. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you think um, Joshua is in trouble for his uh, his tougher competition? And what do you expect out of Joshua in his next coming fight of who he's going to fight next? I think, if anything, Fury and Walder, they're going to go to war. Joshua should be a... He should be a damn man. He should be a man to give Andy Ruiz the trilogy fight that everyone wants to see. That will do damn good numbers, and that will be the best fight out of 2021. But if he ain't going to do that, give Michael Hunter the shot. And I'm not so sure about Usyk. Usyk, he needs to, he needs to step up a little bit higher um, before you can get inside the ring with Joshua. I mean, if he wants to take that risk, then go right ahead. Usyk, Usyk should... Be, be well within his rights to do that but if not fight Luis Ortiz and come back to me because I'm pretty sure Luis Ortiz he wants to beat the living crap out of you Joshua and you weren't being nice to him and you were being disrespectful to you know his uh, team by not letting him know on giving him the promise for the fight to be made so either way be a man take either of those fights and yeah, hopefully we get to see some more heavyweight action in the future. So, all right, guys. I will see you all later. Those are my videos for this weekend. Thank you, and goodbye. Thank you.